Hello, Ice Cap fans inside Mile One Center in downtown St. John's, Newfoundland, Labrador. I'm Ice Cap's play by play broadcaster Brian Rogers with former St. John's Ice Caps defenseman, current Winnipeg Jets rear guard Zach Redmond. Zach, I can't tell you how wonderful it is to see you. I know everybody in the Jets Nation, Ice Caps Nation across this province in Odin, Manitoba, and across the whole country, so happy to see you back on the road to recovery. And you must consider yourself a blessed young man. Yeah, like I was saying up in Winnipeg last week, um, I couldn't be luckier with how things panned out for me, just with, uh, you know, how fast the players and the coaches reacted and, um, you know, having the, uh, all the utilities to get me to the ambulance and in, uh, in the hospital as quick as we can. And, um, you know, the fact that the doctors were great and who, uh, you know, how quick they reacted as well. I couldn't be luckier how things worked out. Well, it's just amazing, Zach, in this day and age, the speed of the game, the size, the equipment uh, that everybody's using. It all kind of plays into some of the freak accidents that have happened. And unfortunately, it seems like it's occurring every other day. And, uh, I mean, how do you defend against something like that? Yeah, you can. I actually noticed that. It seems like uh, maybe I'm paying attention for it a little more close now. But um, it does seem like there's been a lot of injuries this year, maybe because of the, the uh, schedule and the games back-to-back -back all the time. But... Um, yeah, you can't, there's nothing you can plan for or do for other than um, make sure you have, I guess, good equipment. Yep. Well, obviously, they're, they're going to start to obviously have to look at that down the road. I know the socks, the skate guards, the issues that are, are, that are coming up are going to be brought to the light once the season is over. But let's move on. You're here in St. John's, Newfoundland, Labrador. I know this is a place that's special to your heart. This is where you started your pro career last year. You uh, made the all-star team in the AHL, and you made some great strides this year going to the parent club, and you delivered right away. So you had to really feel good when that call came in and you were on your way to the big club. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, it was, it was. Uh, that's what you work for, and um, you know, being fortunate enough to go from a place like St. John's to a place like Winnipeg, where you know you can't, you don't think hockey can get any crazier, and it, it almost does. But um, yeah, really lucky, really happy with how things panned out. Two of the loudest crowds in pro hockey and one of the loudest here in the American Hockey League, the St. John's uh, Ice Caps fans here at Mile One. They'll settle to 73rd consecutive game against Portland on Tuesday and make it 74 on Wednesday night. And you'll be part of the crowd on Tuesday. Uh, what's it like for you to come back here and see some of your former teammates, in particular your real good buddy Johnny Albert? Yeah, no, it's, it's awesome. I haven't seen anybody yet, but uh, I'll have to start making calls today. But... Um, it's always great. That's one of the things that makes St. John's special. Just like the city, the team is team is made up of a bunch of really good guys. And obviously, uh, Johnny Alberts, you know, my probably my best friend on the team for sure. And um, you know, he's gone through a bit of a, a tough season as well. So yeah. we kind of kind of get to uh, share that together and, and kind of have fun amongst a not so fun situation. So it's always great to see him. Yeah, over 425 man games lost due to injury. And you're right, it has just been a topsy turvy year, and not just for this organization, but many others. Let's go back to your first National Hockey League goal. Describe it and the feeling of exhilaration to put that puck in the net. <laughs> yeah. It, uh... I think at the time there's, you don't really, it's just, it's, it's not another goal, but you don't even know what's going through your head. You know, obviously I look back at the pictures and the video and I was really excited, but it doesn't really, it didn't really hit me until, you know, the next day or so when I was kind of talking to my buddies and they're like, you know, how's that feeling? Like, I guess, you know, it is, that is pretty cool. So um, really glad that uh, it came and came against Toronto too. I thought that was cool. Awesome. Do you have the puck? I actually don't. I'll have what? to. Uh, you don't have the puck. I'll have to uh, ask around when I get back to Winnipeg. <laughs> okay, son, it's just wonderful. Everybody was praying for you, and and you're in the thoughts of us every day. And uh, wonderful to see you come back here and be able to spend a few days, some quality time here with your former team. And and that uh, the road that you've taken, uh, it's been a little bit of a tumultuous one. But hey, you're here. You made it. You're going to be a star of the National Hockey League, and you'll always be in our thoughts and our hearts here in St. John's, Newfoundland, Labrador. And you know that. Oh, thanks a lot, Raj. Zach Redman for Ice Caps 360. I'm Brian Rogers.